In this video, I'm going to talk about one of the options in Revit that you may not realize that you need it, but trust me, you will need it. So let's see how it works. As you already know, we are going to talk about view range in depth. So I have a scene in here which we are going to use as example. What is view range and how we can use it? First of all, you need to know that if you want to use view range, you should be in one of the floor plans one of the levels this is the second level and if you click outside select nothing in the properties section you can find view range in here it's this one click on edit and we have a few options in here first of all we have two different sections one of them is the primary range and the other one is the view depth in here first option we have this top in here what is this top if I want to show it to you, I need to create a line in here. Let's go to architecture and use this ref level. I'm going to set it on the orange color and I'm going to create one in this part. If we go back to the view range in here, you can see that by default it is set on 2.3. So I'm going to set it on the same number, exactly 2.3. With this top line, with this parameter, you can control the upper level of your range. So anything above this line will be invisible in the plan view. As you can see, we have this window in here, but we can't see it in this floor plan. This is because it is above this line. So if I move it under this line, it will be visible, but in the projection view. So it is not going to cut anything it is going to just show the level so for example we can see this desk in here and also we can see this cabinet and this casework let me change this levels visual style to consistent color and now let's go to the second option in here we have the cut plane this is one of the most important options in here so by default you can see that it is set on second level it is this level that we are in you cannot change this you can change view range for each level depending on your requirements or depending on what you need but in here it is set on level 2 and you can only change the offset again by default it is set on 1.2 so let's create a line to see what it should cut exactly i'm going to set it on this red line and then i'm going to just simply create one in here select it and change the number in 1.2 now anything this line cuts anything that has intersects with this line is going to be shown on your view on your floor plan so for example in here we have this casework we have this door we have these walls we can see them clearly in here you can see this cut line these walls are cut right because the um, thickness of their line is different their line weight is different uh, different with this or different with the other things that i'm going to show you later so with this line you can control what you want to see in this floor plan you might say that there is no intersect between this line and this window but why we can see it in this floor plan this is because windows are exceptions if we have a window inside a view range we can clearly see it in the view plan in the level and it has cut line it has like cut weight okay we can see this window in here this is because it is about the view range but the moment i move it down to this part or i change these lines we can see it clearly in this view plan so let's check if i click on here let's first move this one up because we can't like mm, raise this number uh, more than this we need to move this first 3.5 for this and let's put this on 3 and okay let's also change these lines to see what happened in here i'm going to set this part let's move it to here i'm going to set it on 3.5 and this one i'm going to set it on 3 well obviously it was too much because there is no intersect between them we can't see any cut and we can see it in this part doing the floor plan too so let's go to view range again and i'm going to set this number on 2.7 and okay 
now we can see them clearly in here we can see both of these parts have cuts but again we can see the door let me change this number to 2.7 and you see that there is no intersect between this line and the door but the moment i move this down again more to two let's say we can see the door but we cannot see the window anymore because this is about this one i'm going to set this one on two so you can see where we should see this cut let's move this cut line down a little bit more to see if we can see cut of this desk go to view range and this time i'm going to put it on just 50 centimeter so it should be somewhere around here and we should see this desk with cut but we can't this is because caseworks are also exceptions they are uncuttable so even if we have this cut line exactly on this desk we cannot see it with cut and also you see that they are shown with projection lines with projection line weight so let me insert one of the families, one of the caseworks that I had created, but it's a generic model so we can see it. Let's just put it in here. As you can see, it is cut. It has lots of cuts. Let me just turn this part off. You can see all of the details in here. This is because uh, I created this in generic model. In this part, you can see that it has lots of details. I'm going to show you in wireframe. It has a lot of details inside it and because i created this in generic model we can see them like this if we change the cut plane i'm going to like first let's measure this part exactly from this part to here it is 83 if i change the view range to let's say 85 we can see it from the top there is no cut on this casework so we see it with projection line it's really important to know this because sometimes we need to show some details in some parts of our projects that uh, we have to change the cut plane you should know that where you want to show in your levels in your view plans and then set these lines set the top line the cut plane and also the bottom and underlay the depth view i'm going to explain it later uh, so you will create the best view you show exactly what you want to show the client the, for the presentation or anything the next option is the bottom it is again inside the primary range in here and also you can change the level for this option too so you can set it only on the levels below this second level any level that you have under this level for example if you have tof if you have the ground level anything you can set this bottom on those levels or you can set it on unlimited and play with the offset and um, by default it is set on zero it is set on the level that you are in so if we don't change it in here it should be exactly this line i am going to create a line in this part too let's just change it to this purple and i'm going to just set it on simply zero so you see that it is exactly on this level with this you can be sure that anything you see in the level in the floor plan is exactly from zero for example if you have any skirting if you have any sweep if you have any window or any opening on for example on from level zero to for example 20 centimeter 30 centimeter above the floor this way you can make sure you can be sure that you have all of those details if they have cut or if they don't have cut it will be different but with this you can control them so if you don't want to show skirtings on your level for example if you want to see them in one of your levels and you don't want to see them on another you can set the bottom level on 20 centimeter for example and you will not see it on the level only for this view the last option we have in here is the view depth as you can see it is in another section this is the primary range and this is the view depth this is because anything we see in this range anything we see in the view depth will be shown with different line style they will be used the beyond line style and i'm going to show you how you can change it and modify it according to your requirement 
but first let's just see how it works as you can see by default it's set on zero so in here we do not have any uh, like view depths in this part but if you want to see how it works i'm going to set it on like minus 1.3 let's say and in this part i'm going to just simply create a line in here let's change the line type to this blue line and i'm going to set it from this level okay from this level on 1.3 now let me just hide this floor in here so we can see under this part select it here and just hide the element okay we set the view depth but we can't see anything first of all it's because there is nothing in this part obviously there is no lighting fixture there is no window or anything it's not cutting anything also it's because um, these are exactly on top of each other so we only see things in the second level i'm going to move this window to here and also a little bit to this part right now you can see that we can see this window this case work is in the second level and we know it because first of all it is on top of this line we can see lines of these windows and we can see the pattern of this obviously it has a solid white pattern and also we know that this line the, the view depth line the level is not cutting anything in here so if we move it down to this part we probably will be able to see this door and also we can see this case part i'm going to just simply move it to here so we can see the difference let's go to view range and this time i'm going to set it on minus 2.3 and now we can see it in here if i select this one you can see that it is in the first level and if i select this one it is on the second level so how we can change the line weight of these because obviously they are like exactly the same even if i turn this line and thin line off to change it you need to go to the manage tab and to additional setting in here you can see the line style open this line and just search for the line style that you want we need to change the beyond line style line type so you need to find that and in here it's this one it has a black line color and the line weight or projection is on one let's put it on this pink color so we can see all of the objects that are in this view depth i forgot to change it i'm going to just simply put it on 2.3 you can see right now that this casework is in the view depth and the line type is different also we can see that this window is again on the view depth and also we should see this door in here as well and we can see that it is exactly on the pink line color this just simply means that this door in here is inside the view depths for this second level so with this you can show anything you want in the foundation as well you can show the foundation you can show the rewards below a level well now you know everything about the view range if you practice a little bit you will learn how to control all of these parts separately or all together and then it will help you to create exactly floor plans that you need now if you want to learn another very important hack for controlling and managing your views even more than this, make sure to watch this video.